Hello students, welcome to our English class. I am your teacher Navjot Kaur, working as English mistress at Government Girls Senior Secondary Smart School, Chola Sab, District Taranta. Dear students, before moving towards today's topic, first we will discuss importance of a language. Students, can you tell me why do we learn a language? Or how is it important for us? Yes, students, language is a vital tool for communication. Students, we can easily talk with each other while using language. We can easily express our ideas and feelings with each other while using language. Language is important in every part of our lives. It also builds friendships. How it builds friendships? Can you tell me? Yes, students. You share your ideas and your feelings with each other and make your friends. In the same way, it develops economic relationships and cultural ties between different people as well as between countries. It also helps us to get knowledge and education. Children, how will you study if there is no language? So, in short, we can say that language is key to human lives. It plays a very important role in our lives. Dear children, to learn a language, first you have to learn four skills. And these skills are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. First of all, when we are learning a language, we hear it spoken. So, it is our listening skill. Eventually, we try to speak what we hear and it is our speaking skill. Later, we see the spoken language depicted by symbols on paper and we start to read it. So, it is our reading skill. And finally, we reproduce these symbols on paper and we learn how to write. So, it is our writing skill. Students, these four skills which are essential to learn a language. Okay, students, now look at this picture. What are children doing in this picture? Yes, they are reading. So, what type of skill is it? It is a reading skill. And now we will discuss the importance of reading skill. Yes, reading helps to understand what you read. It increases the enjoyment of reading. Students, as you practice more and more while reading different types of books, you start to enjoy reading. Reading helps not only to get good marks, but also in personal life. Yes, reading books reduces stress and puts you in a better mood. It also enhances our vocabulary and improves other language skills. Reading exercises our brain. It develops a child's imagination by opening our minds to new possibilities and new ideas, helping us experience and analyze the world through others' lives. So, reading is a very important skill to learn a language. So, dear students, today we are going to learn a very interesting topic of reading skill named reading comprehension. Students, first of all, you should know the meaning of the word comprehension. The word comprehension means ability to understand something. I repeat, the word comprehension means our ability to understand something. So, what is reading comprehension? 
Dear children, reading comprehension refers to the ability to understand and to retell the information presented in written form. Or we can say the purpose of reading comprehension is to get meaning from the written text. And comprehension takes place where there is communication between the author and the reader. It is understanding what the author has written. Now we will discuss some tips to solve a reading comprehension. I hope you will listen carefully. As in reading comprehension, there is a given passage with the questions below. So what will you do? First of all, we will read the passage quickly. And in the first reading, we will try to get the journal idea of the passage. It means we will try to know about what the passage is. After reading the passage, we will read the questions thoroughly. And after reading the questions, we will again read the passage. And in the second reading, we will read it slowly to get details and to find answers, we will also underline keywords like names, locations, facts, dates, etc. It is very helpful strategy for solving multiple choice questions. And students, you will also find the meaning of difficult words in the passage. In this way, we can easily find the answers. And students, to improve that skill and vocabulary, you should read books that are not too hard. And in the end, if you find any problem, you can clear your doubts from your teacher. After discussing some tips, there are some strategies which are helpful to solve reading comprehension. Let's discuss. First of all, reread the text. More information, more understanding. It means by rereading, you will get more information and more understanding about the given passage. And the second one is infer reading which means read between the lines. Sometimes the answers are not given directly. So how to find the answers? I will make it more clear by giving you an example. For example, it has been snowing outside and some cars have snow on them and some cars don't. We infer that those cars without snow have been parked in the garage. I think you will understand it. And in the next strategy, activate the prior knowledge. It means whatever you know about the given text priorly, relate it to find answers. Then think aloud and carefully. Talk through the given text. It will make you more familiar with the given passage. And in the end, summarize the story of the given passage. For example, characters of the story, what problems are given in the passage, and what solution of the problems are given in the passage. Now we will practice this skill by solving a given passage. First we will do reading activity and try to get the gist of the passage. Because understanding of reading is very important and after immediately doing the reading we will be asked few questions to answer in a very simple and precise manner. So first of all, 
we will discuss the meaning of difficult words. Pity, attractive to look or hear. The girl in the picture is very pretty. Colorful, full of colors. Look at the picture, it is very colorful. Flapping, to move something up and down and side to side. Flutter, to move something quickly and lightly. Look at the picture. The words are flapping and fluttering their wings. Ballet, a style of dancing that tells a story with music but without words. I think you understand all the meaning. Now we will read aloud the given passage. Yesterday, I was in my yard and I saw a butterfly. It was very pretty. This butterfly was on a flower. It was flapping its wings up and down. It looked like the butterfly was taking a sun bath. The wings of the butterfly were colorful. The wings had blue, green, yellow and red colors. After a little while, another butterfly came and landed over a floor next to the first butterfly. It looked like they were talking. All of a sudden, both butterflies flew into the air. I just watched them dance and flutter about. It was like a butterfly ballet. After reading the passage, now we will read the questions thoroughly. Question 1. What did the writer see in his yard? A sparrow? A flower? A butterfly? A cat? Question 2. What type of wings the butterfly had? Dull? White? Colorful? None of these. Question 3. How was the butterfly flapping its wings? Forward, up and down, backward, only upward. Question 4. How many colors were there on the butterfly's wings? 4, 6, 2, none of these. Question 5. Where did both butterflies fly into? In a garden, in a yard, nowhere, in the air. After reading questions, now we will do re-reading activity to get details and to find answers. Let's read the passage again. Yesterday I was in my yard and I saw a butterfly. And our question is, what did the writer see in his yard? And the answer is butterfly. It was very pretty. This butterfly was on a flower. It was flapping its wings up and down. How was the butterfly flapping its wings? Up and down. It looked like the butterfly was taking a sun bath. The wings of the butterfly were colorful. What type of wings butterfly had? So the answer is colorful. And next line is the wings had blue, green, yellow and red colors. And here our question is how many colors the butterfly had on its wings? So the answer is not directly given here. So what we will do? We will just count the colors. And here we have four colors. Students, it is called infer reading. Read between the lines. Your answer is not directly given. Let's move forward. After a little while, another butterfly came and landed over a flower next to the first butterfly. It looked like they were talking. All of a sudden, both butterflies flew into the Air. And our question is, where did 
both butterflies fly into into the air i just watched them dance and flutter about it was like a butterfly ballet so students why rereading the passage again we can easily find the answers now all the answers are clear so let's discuss the answers what did the writer see in his yard a butterfly what type of wings the butterfly had colorful wings how was the butterfly flapping its wings up and down how many colors were there on the butterfly's wings four where did both butterflies fly into into the air students i hope you understand this passage very well and now we will practice the second passage in the second passage students we will repeat all the activities like in the first passage we will start by reading aloud the given passage so let's read it my name is peter i am a student i am 19 years old i am from london i have two brothers and one sister my father is a doctor my mother is a teacher in morning i go for a walk with my father i have a pet dog named oscar he is very naughty he also goes for a walk with us in evening i like to play football with my friends after reading the passage now we will read the questions thoroughly question 1 how old is peter 5 years old 19 years old 2 years old 8 years old question 2 how many brothers peter has and the option are 2 5 4 3 Question three: Where does Peter live? And the options are India, America, London, Canada. Question four: What does Peter's father do? Teacher, lawyer, doctor, artist. Question five: What does Peter play in the evening? Football. hockey chess baseball after reading questions now we will do rereading activity like in the first passage students as we have done first passage so i hope now you will find answers quickly and easily and while doing rereading activity we will also underline keywords like names dates numbers etc to get details and to find answers let's read the passage my name is peter i am a student i am 19 years old our question is how old is peter so here we get the answer 19 years old i am from london our one of the questions is where does peter live so the answer is london i have two brothers and one sister and our question is how many brothers peter have they are just asking about brothers not about sister so our answer is two brothers my father is a doctor and our question is what does peter's father do and the answer is doctor next line my mother is a teacher in morning i go for a walk 
with my father. I have a pet dog named Oscar. What is the name of the pet dog? Oscar. He is very naughty. He also goes for a walk with us. In evening, I like to play football with my friends. And our last question, what does Peter play in the evening? So the answer is football. In this way, we can easily find the answers. Let's see, did you find the right answers? Question 1. How old is Peter? And the answer is 19 years old. Question 2. How many brothers Peter has? Two brothers. Where does Peter live? In London. Question 4. What does Peter's father do? And the answer is doctor. Question 5. What does Peter play in the evening? And the answer is football. I hope you will understand very well how to solve a reading comprehension and now you are able to find the right answers. Okay students, now it's time for your homework. I'm going to share you a homework help box. Here we will discuss some meanings of difficult words. Let's read it. Dry fruits. Fruits that have been dried in the sun or heated. You can see the picture of dry fruits here. Disease and illness. Unique, very unusual, not like anything else. Properties, characteristics. Preserves, conserve, vitality, energy, or strength. So, I think all the meanings are clear to you. Now we will move towards the passage. Dear students, your homework question is read the given passage and answer questions. Let's read the passage. Dry fruits are useful in various diseases of brain, muscles and tissues. Particularly, almond has got unique properties to remove brain weakness and strengthens it. Almond preserves the vitality of the brain, strengthens the muscles and destroys Diseases originating from nervous disorders. Walnut is another dry fruit that possesses wonderful qualities of curing brain weakness. Dry fruits should be used by brain workers. According to Dr. Johnson, almonds, grapes, dates, apples and oranges are very good for brain workers. Here in the pictures, you can see the picture of almonds, walnut, and dates. Let's move towards questions. Question 1. Dry fruits are useful because they, and the options are, strengthen our heart, cure various diseases, give confidence to us. Question 2. Which one is not a property of almond? And the options are It preserves the vitality of brain. Option B. It strengthens the muscles. Option C. It strengthens our digestive system. Question 3 is a fill-up. Dash is another dry fruit. You will just find that line in the passage and you will answer it. Question 4. Dry fruits are very good for our health. True or false? Question 5. Dry fruits are useful in various dash of the brain, muscles and tissues. 
number muscles diseases so students i hope now you can easily find these answers and you will repeat all the activities as we have done before dear children we have learned that reading comprehension is the ability to fully understand what is being read so there is a need of making a connection between reading and understanding first of all reading aloud is one of the best ways to help you to develop background knowledge then we will read questions it will help you to know when to focus and when to skip while doing rereading and by reading passages again you will understand the topic more clearly and it will also enhance your fluency and you will able to find the right answers dear students to improve this skill you should solve exercises of reading comprehension and you should also read books by reading different kinds of books you will not only able to find answers what you will also able to ask questions and your school library is the best place to improve this skill and still if you find any problem to solve reading comprehension your teachers are always here to help you thank you children have a good day